I'm Gabriella Chu, a Kids First alumna. Today is December 8th, and I'm at the world premiere of Into the Woods at the Ziegfeld Theater in New York. in Le Miserable, which is a much more serious film, what was the transition like to be in a more light-hearted film? Uh, it's, 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 it's a good change because uh, it's like all live and uh, it's uh, really happy as well. Not really happy ever after because it gets a bit down as well, but it's, it's really good, yeah. Did your character come naturally to you or did you have to uh, prepare a lot? Yeah, it did actually because you sort of the character a lot. I actually am, but like, he's really cheeky, he loves to explore, he loves to have fun and that's basically me really, yeah. Millions of kids are watching you right now, and I'm sure they'd wish they'd have your career. What advice do you have for kids who want to be an actor? Uh, just be confident, uh, just have fun really. Take it serious as well, but just the main thing is just have fun, enjoy it really. Yeah. And what was your favorite part of being in the movie? Uh, it was just meeting all the, the, character, the people, like James Corden, Meryl Streep. It was just meeting all them, like, good experience as well. Do you get any takeaways from them? Uh, no, but I've just gained like loads of close friendship with them, and that's basically my takeaway with them, really, yeah. And what was the most challenging part of being your character? Uh, well, it was actually the singing, like, because like, it was really fast and that. It was like a hard, a hard songs to sing. But as I got used to it, it was it got easier, but that was probably my hardest thing like, to do, yeah. Thank you so much for talking to me. Hi, can you tell me about your involvement with the movie? Um, well, I play Little Red Riding Hood, and she's a very feisty yet fragile character, so she has those two amazing sides to her. And I love this movie. It's a musical, and I love musicals. Thank you so much. For our younger audiences, can you tell us about your role as costume designer for the movie? Sure. I think when you're a costume designer for the movies, for, for a movie like this, you have a, a, an idea of a fantasy of a costume that you want to make and you start with with the story and build it on that and as you get each character you you choose materials and colors that you want to reflect that character and then for instance with Rapunzel her dress is very pale very pink she's almost like a ghost of herself everything's pale she's in this wood, like stone tower so she's almost like she's invisible to the world so I kind of wanted to have her costume feel like you can't it's 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 almost like ethereal and sort of that that sort of feeling with each person you kind of create a different thing that goes with their personality and source the fabrics create the fabrics I have all kinds of people that work in costume under me which people don't know about they're the unsung heroes of the film business they're like dyers textile artists the cutter fitters who actually make the patterns for me and make the clothes are very talented people and you know have a great time participating in the creation of a costume what was the most exciting part of your involvement with the movie i think when you when you um do a movie like this the exciting part is like the first day of shooting when everybody comes out in their costumes and you suddenly realize you know you've kind of done it and this world is there and everybody's standing there and it's all it's all fitting and it's all working and they're all happy it's a very good feeling what about the most challenging part it's probably the same thing <laughs> The most challenging part is probably making sure that the costumes work for all these people because they have to do a lot of hard work in them. They're not just posing around in them like a fashion shoot or something. They're really, they wear them all day long for 10 to 12 hours a day. And they're not always comfortable, but you try to make it as comfortable as you can for them to do their work because it's hard work. Are you going to do more of costume design in the future? or? Yes, I'm working on two films now. Um, Which one? Well, they're, they're, just, they're just prepping. One's called Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children that Tim Burton's directing. And the other, which is a young, kind of young adult story. It's really wonderful, kind of fantasy piece. And the other one is a sequel to Snow White and the Huntsman called The Huntsman and the Snow Queen. But they won't be out for another year or so. Thank you so much for talking to me. What was your favorite part of being that character? Um, 
all of it really. It was really easy. It's so easy to play a mean person, you know? You don't have to make anybody feel anything. You come to work and just be like, yeah, screw everybody, you know? It's, it's, it was fun. Imagine if you could come here and just be like, yeah, who cares what you say? I don't care, like, it's just, it was just fun. Did you get to talk to Meryl Streep, or what was it like working with so many experienced people in the movie? It was a, a dream come true because I do a lot of indies and I work with a lot of people that don't know what they're doing. So for me to know I'm going to come to work and play an easy character and get to see everyone else around me work so fabulously, it was a dream come true. If you could redo your role in the movie, would you do anything differently or would you want to relive any experiences again? I'm, I would not want to leave my daughter for four months and go to London ever again. I will never do that again. I learned that. Um, I haven't seen the film, so I don't know what I would change yet. I gotta, I'll tell you after. Did you see it? No, I'm we going to. We I haven't have even to. seen the film. What are we doing here? Like, why are we talking about it? We didn't even see it. Yeah. I don't know. Thank you so much Thank for talking you, to me. Have a good night. You too. Hi. Hi. Can you tell me about your involvement with the movie? Uh, I'm actually not involved in the movie. I'm just here to see it. I'm a fan of the movie. Um, so I am, uh, my name is Betty Who. I'm a singer. I'm signed to Sony RCA. Um, and I'm just here with a friend to see the film. What are you most excited to see? I love Anna Kendrick with like every fiber of my being. So I'm really, she's amazing. Yeah. So I'm really excited to see her performance. And of course, Meryl. Of course, Meryl. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell me about your current work? Uh, my current work? I just put out an album, it's called Take Me When You Go, uh, and it came out in October, and uh, I worked on it for a couple years and, and just put it out, and I'm really, really happy with it, and we've been touring the record pretty much ever since. What do you think is the hardest part about being an artist? Uh, probably being away from home so much, um, and it's really hard to see friends and family, but you know, it's, it's how it works, I think, it's how the, the industry works, so I've been on tour for more or less the, the better part of this year. Um, and I'm looking forward to being, I live in New York, so I'm really looking forward to being home for a little bit. And what's the most rewarding part? Equally touring, because uh, you get, every night you get to talk to somebody new and, and, and meet a new fan who is a huge fan of the music and, and the songs particularly, so it's really lovely to see people kind of uh, coming out of the woodwork and, and connecting with you through your music, especially because I write the music, so it's like, it's, it's a special connection that you feel like you have. What inspires you to write your music? Relationships, uh, particularly. You know, I'm I'm very involved in, uh, and I'm very I think I'm very uh, self-aware in relationships, and I try and take everything that I can out of them to, to create good art. Thank you so much no for worries. speaking to me. No worries. Thanks. Have a good night. You too. I was just at the world premiere of Into the Woods. Check it out when it comes out in theaters December 25th. Kids first. No. <laughs>